Okay, so uh, a few points. First, uh, the fact that states are never happy when we bar their mergers has nothing to do with the new emphasis on industrial policy. They've never been happy. Whenever you block a merger, you get heat. Okay, so uh, now it's under the guise of competition of industrial policy, but it's nothing to do uh, with that. Now, let's try to take uh, the argument seriously. First, I would ask, how many European champions have actually been successful? And try to get significantly be behind Airbus, uh, the numbers are going to be small. Second, except for Siemens Alstom, point to me a number of mergers that have prevented the emergence of European champions. Go farther than that, point to me in the US and other countries where supposedly people are not as tough, champions and very successful firms that grew mostly through mergers. So that would be my preamble. The second one is, okay, let's still think that for some reason you believe merger is essential to creating champions. Why would that be so? One is because it leads, of course, to kind of lower cost. We call this efficiencies and synergies. Looking at those is an integral part of our merger review process. You say, yes, 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 yes. But you fail to take into account that that's just foreign competition. We do take into account foreign competition is potential entry. We pay a lot of uh, attention to uh, imports. And in the case of Sieben Alstom, for example, the, you know, the famous Chinese competitors and never sold kind of any kind of significant amount in the EU. So you get to, yes, 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 but you take too short a time horizon. Well, no, we don't. I know that in the merger, Notice uh, people talk about kind of a two years horizon, but we do adapt the horizons that we uh, uh, that we look at depending on on the industry. Of course, the only thing to keep in mind is that if you adapt the horizon, you adapt it for everything. You adapt it for the harm. You adapt it for the efficiency. You adapt it for the timing of entry. Okay, and you can, you don't do not get to choose. So one can of course disagree on how we actually apply the criteria. It is possible. I'm not going to say either way. So one would disagree about the way those criteria were applied to the specific merger like Siemens Alstom. But in terms of having criteria that would allow for a justifiable kind of a industrial European champion cases, kind of everything is there in the merger guidelines. So frankly, trying to say that we have to change the merger guideline in order to accommodate this kind of new policy, whether it is good or not, makes no sense whatsoever to me. 